Hello everyone, it is the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, coming to you again with some tips for starting your podcast, podcasting your purpose tips. And this is going to be a great discussion. I actually had an opportunity to meet with a new client, not meet personally, but meet on Zoom to help her set up her new podcast. So that is a service that I do offer. I offer many packages where I'm just providing you with information, hints and tips for 60 minutes. We're on the phone, we're head down, we're you know doing a brain dump, not only about the title, your description, setting up your schedule, um, getting some topics, where to get some free music, your intro, your outro. So that's a service that I offer. If you're interested in that mini package, which is just $77 for that 60 minutes to help you launch your podcast, and then we get into launching it via Anchor FM, please send me an email at info at ablakeenterprises.com and we'll get you scheduled for that. So today I want to talk about content that you are going to be presenting on your podcast. Again, we know that this is a great way in which to share your voice, share your vision, but you want to be strategic. You don't just want to create a podcast on anything. Just like with a blog, what is your topic? What is your niche? And then you may want to narrow it. Again, this morning I had an opportunity to meet with a new client and she has a fantastic topic. We were able to kind of narrow it down so that she could brainstorm brainstorm some topics. Think about people that she'd like to have on her show as well as always having a call to action. That CTA. What do you want people to do after they listen to your podcast? Is there are there questions that you want to ask them? Are there assignments you want to give them? Is you know, do you want you, them to share that content? What do you want them to do? So that is one very important step about creating your content. Always have that call to action. Now, if you're home and you're, you know, you're thinking about what kind of topic are people interested in? You know, you can obviously listen to other podcasts to get an idea of what's popular. But there is a site called Quora, Q-U-O-R-A dot com. And I know a lot of you know about this, but Quora is the biggest question and answer site on the internet. Users come and they post questions about any and everything from as far as uh, narrowed down to state. If there's something, if you're specific that they want to know about your state, I see a lot of people asking questions about things that happen in Delaware because I list Delaware as one of my um, keywords. So if there's a topic that is hot right now, we know it's the uh, coronavirus, we know it's health, we know it's um, safety, we know it's finances, taxes, things like that. What is it that you are an expert in? What are you an expert? Are you a subject matter expert in health and wellness? Are you a subject matter expert in event planning? Are you a subject matter expert in creating fantastic recipes um, on, on a budget, you know? Those things are out there. People are asking questions and that's probably will help you determine what you want to make your topic of your podcast about. So head over to Quora.com. Again, Q-U-O-R-A.com. And once you get over there, start reading some of the questions that people have and then decide what topics you want to discuss and then narrow that niche. Again, narrow that niche. You do that brain dump, write out everything that you're good at, everything that you want to talk about, everything you have knowledge about and you want to share. And then you want to kind of narrow that niche because you don't want to be all over the place and try to satisfy everyone because you cannot do that. So narrow down that niche and find out what is, you know, what you can target in on, create a list, you know, of items. Okay. So if people are asking about this, you know, raising teenagers, if they're asking about finances, you know, whatever it is that you're good at, then that's what you want to use as your topic because you want to build your brand. You want to become that subject matter expert. You want to be the authoritative 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 person that's going to do that. So again, brainstorm what it is. And once you get that content, once you narrow that niche and you decide what your podcast topic is going to be about, then you want to be creative in your, your title. 
So you want to think about what your title is going to be. So say, for example, you've narrowed your niche and now you want to create a podcast on helping others cope with a loss, for example, or helping people cope with a terminal illness. What is the title? What is it going to be? And you want to make sure that you are being human. People listen to podcasters that are human. They're not looking for robots. They're looking to connect. And remember, we talked about that intimate relationship. When they pop those earbuds into their ears, when they put that headphone on, they are creating an intimate relationship. That biggest sexual organ is between the ears. That's the brain. So you want to be human. It's okay to listen to other podcasters to see how they do it but you want to have that relationship with your listeners. So you've narrowed that niche. Again, use Quora, Q-U-O-R-A.com, which is the biggest question and answer site out there. And I bet you dollars to donuts, you're going to find a topic that you can say, you know what? I can answer the questions. I can answer these questions. And then use those to create a list. So each of your podcast episodes can be answering one of those questions. Again, are you a realtor? In this time and age of you know going online and seeing uh, photos of pictures, some people say don't go to Zillow because you know that site is not good. But do you have some hints and tips for people not only looking to buy homes, but how about selling homes? I know that when my husband and I decided to sell our home, um, there were things that we had thought about. There were things that we needed to know. And when we bought the home, we, you know, this is obviously was not our first rodeo. We've done this before, but there were tips and hints and tricks that I read about that I heard from others that would help me make the decision when we decided to have this home built. So again, if you're a realtor, do you have information for, for others? If you're a health and fitness guru, right? Right now, people are looking for ways in which to stay healthy and active, even though they may be quarantined inside. So think about what you want to do. If you want to focus on you know, your arms, you want to focus on the legs. Again, list out your episodes. Keep, you know, keep a running tally of topics because it's always going to be something that people are interested in learning more about. Are there experts out there? Are there other people that you can bring in and interview? You don't, may not know everything. No one's a jack of all trades and because you end up being a master of none. So you've chosen your topic. So maybe it is health and fitness. Are there other health and fitness people that you would love to interview on your show? Bring them on, send them an email, connect with them, let them know who you are, let them know about your podcast, send them links to previous episodes so that they know what to expect and they'll be, you know, make, make a decision to um, be a guest on your podcast. Record that episode. I always say record your episode on Zoom. That way you can upload it and you can edit it. And today I got an email, um, all those that are, are on Anchor FM, the record with friends option is getting better because they know people cannot get out and about and people are trying to connect with each other. So the record with friends is an option and the record with friends, you don't even have to be uh, an Anchor FM subscriber. So check that out. Head over to anchorfm.com to see how you can now add that as a feature by just calling friends and family and inviting them on your podcast without leaving. Still social distancing. So that's great. Once you have created that episode, again, sometimes you may have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. As an educator, I'm always writing. So I will get my notebook, my pad, whatever the case may be, and I will start to bulletize, you know, what topics I want to cover because nine times out of 10, you're going to forget something and you don't want to have to re-record the entire episode because you forgot something. So just sit there and just bulletize it. So that way, as you're reading it, you'll, you'll be able to cover everything that you want to cover for that topic. Again, I'm going to push you, keep pushing you back to Cora. Q-U-O-R-A dot com. Not that I'm getting any kickback from them, but that is a great way to start getting those uh, mental juices flowing to see what people are, are lo looking for. And then you can become that subject matter expert. And then you know what? Take those questions, create answers. Maybe you have the top five 
questions of Quora each day or each week. Um, go through that. Then you have an episode each week. Take the top five, again, with those lists. People love lists. And then you can respond to those questions. And then let the people on Quora know that not only are you answering the questions, but you have a podcast that is answering the questions and leave the link to the podcast so that people can click and find and follow you as well. Again, you have to promote yourself. So that is a great way to do that and use those questions and those answers as your show notes. And you can use that as an email. You can use that as a giveaway. You know, the top five questions of Quora this week are, and then you list them out and you have the answers. And if it's something that you love to get others to answer or call in about, that's a great way to, to expand your audience as well. So create that content. Use that schedule. Remember, I told you I have that calendar. Yeah, I have that calendar, which is actually part of the uh, Podcasting Your Purpose book, which is this workbook here that I have. Again, I, I am selling this uh, $15.99. It's a real great deal. But it also includes the 2020 Podcast Planner in the back. And here it gives you um, a space to put in your episode numbers, the guests, topics, your date that a pre-record, the date that you published it, and also a checklist if you created your artwork, if you created a script. Did you send a release form to your guests? That's also imp very important. Did you promote on, on social media? You know, did you create a blog post? It's on your website. So again, podcasting your purpose is a 42-page workbook that takes you from what is a podcast all the way up to creating your episodes on Anchor FM. So this is a great, great um, book for you. If you're interested in that, please send me an email, info at ablakeenterprises.com. Again, that is available along with my book, Your Basic Blogging Tips for Beginners. Um, you know, that's available. Let me show that to you. And if you head over to my blog today, dellblogger.com, you can listen to that interview that I had with Daryl Spears, Books on Stage. Um, and we talked about basic blogging tips for beginners. We talked about my favorite part of the book, obviously, is um, driving traffic to your blog again, because you can write and write and write. And if no one's reading, then, you know, you can get frustrated and stop. So chapter, you know, one, we talked about choosing your niche, chapter two, driving traffic and chapter three, how to monetize. So this is available, basic blogging tips for beginners. Head over to dellblogger.com. On the left side is a link to click as well as on ablakeenterprises.com. Podcasting Your Purpose webbook is available. And actually, this is a twofer. If you are interested in a copy of each, I am um, um, doing a special. That's my little sticky there. Doing a special for $26 for both. So if you're interested, just let me know. Um, the podcasting DIY, again, that's that mini package where for 60 minutes, I will get on the phone with you. I will send you prior to us getting together a checklist of what we will be covering, suggestions, hints, and tips. And I also found some great sites for uh, free uh, music that you can use as an intro and outro, as well as an editing site. So you want to cut down the music to about 30 seconds on your intro. So I have that information as well. But again, head over to Quora, Q-U-O-R-A.com. It's the largest question and answer site that will just get your, you know, get your juices flowing, your brain power going so that you can come up with content if you don't have content, but you want to start a podcast. Again, podcasting your purpose. We all have a voice. We all have a vision. We want to share it because having a podcast can literally change someone's life. So again, thank you so very much for following along. Remember, thumbs up this video subscribe so that you don't miss any episodes and stay tuned for my new podcast coming out. Remember I told you, blog your way to a business profit. That's going to kick off on the 2nd of April. So until the next time, stay smart, stay safe, and stay socially distant because I will see in cyberspace. See ya. It's the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger. Have a beautifully blessed day. Bye-bye.